Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. The comments just keep rolling in, you know, some positive and many negative. And I'm not going to show the negative or, or the positive comments. You know who you are that's making the comments. All I'm going to do is show you and teach you the truth. Even though you want to be so caught up in your lies, the ones that's making the, the false comments. For instance, Someone has said they're basically making it their mission to uh, destroy the Universal Life Church. That should not be their mission. Their mission should be the Great Commission. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's the Great Commission. That is a commission for every Christian. Of course, a lot of that has been already done. I mean, the, the groundwork has already been laid out in the past by previous missionaries and preachers and evangelists. I understand there's a lot more to be done because there's still current countries that refuse to have the gospel of Jesus Christ in their country. And that's why there's the internet. Because a lot of people have the internet. They can get the internet in their country. They might be limited on how much internet that, that they uh can watch or see but that's why I preach on the internet and hopefully one of these um, souls will understand what's truly going on how even though if you become saved that doesn't mean that you instantly get a brand new house, a brand new car, and a lot of money. You're going to have struggles. You're going to be uh, in a lot more tribulation than what you've been in before. Because as a believer, we are appointed to tribulation. Because people hate us. People hate who and what we stand for, and that's Jesus Christ and the one true God. Hmm. The reason why the Universal Life Church has no traditional doctrine is Mainly because doctrine should be up to the individual. They believe that everyone is already ordained. And I said ordained because the word ordained means to appoint someone to a position. And here's the dictionary here. Ordain. I'm saying ordain because that's what it says. Ordain. You heard my computer say ordain? Ordain. See? It's ordain. And that's what I'm saying. An ordain or ordentation. I know how to say it.
So stop putting me down. That's not your job as a believer to put me down. But then, sometimes I wonder if you are truly the ones, the one that's saying the things that you're saying, or someone hacked your your YouTube channel and is pretending to be you. You know, that's a strong possibility. It might not be you doing this and I'm condemning you and it's not you. It could be a whole nother person that hates me and has the, the, the technology and the know-how to hack other people's YouTube channels and Facebook uh, pages. I wouldn't even put a past to uh, being either the one person or one other per one of many that hacked into uh, Yahoo to get uh, people's um, email addresses and other personal information. How else would you get my other email addresses that I have never publicized or used for any anything other than email. Well, you know, it, and I told Yahoo, I, I called them and said, hey, I believe this person is the one that hacked your uh, company because how else would they get my email that I have never put out on YouTube or Facebook, either one? So how would they get that email address? Makes you wonder, like I said, did they hack Yahoo to get people's, to, especially to try to get my information because they hate me? And maybe some other preachers' personal information because they hate them also. There's also a, a um, besides Universal Life Church, uh, International Headquarters, there's also a group called, or a ministry called, Universal Life Church Christian Fellowship. That's been around for a good while. Reverend Ken Allen is the uh, owner uh, of this uh, ministry. There's also uh, a uh, Universal Life Church Christian Fellowship on Facebook, which is not really affiliated with this. Somebody, just, somebody had basically went off and made that on their own because they thought that this site was no longer up and running and even the uh, Yahoo group... Uh, email wasn't working anymore so they created the uh, Facebook page but yeah this is still working it's still up and running and the email group is still working as well for some unknown reason I was deleted from the group I don't know why I don't know how I had to re-sign back up again But I've been a part of this ministry since 2008. You can get a certificate after you uh, join and and uh, this is for all 
Old New Testament Bible believing Christians to join who are um, ordained by the Universal Life Church. Again, it's an independent ministry. It is not really uh, a, an affiliate with the Universal Life Church, but yet it is for all Universal Life Church ministers who are Christian and not another faith. So there's that. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That is what I preach. I also want to preach here real quick. I want to get to it here real quick. On Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17, oops. These are a few verses here. Thus saith the Lord, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in man, and makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord. Blessed is a man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. I put my trust in the Lord. I don't put my trust in man wholeheartedly because man lies, cheats, and steals. That's the nature of the, that's the carnal nature of man. And long story short, once you're born again and you have the Holy Spirit living inside you, that's no longer your your nature. Your nature is, you want, you just trust in the Lord. And yet, you also should put some trust in your fellow believers as well. Because God's word says so. That we're supposed to be there for one another. We're supposed to help one another. It's a command that we're supposed to help one another. We're supposed to love one another. But yet, we don't do that. We want to make some kind of excuse. Oh, I don't make enough money, or uh, I'm living on Social Security, like, like I am. I, you know, I've had people tell me when I needed some eggs, and my vehicle was broke down, and I couldn't go get them myself. Because there's a lot of snow on the ground and, and ice. And I wasn't going to walk to the store. And uh, now, for one thing, they said, no, they don't eat eggs, for one thing. And, of course, they were... A Nazarene. They went to a, 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 a Nazarene church. Long story short. They just told me. I'll pray for you. The Bible says. When a brother is in need. And you send him away. Telling him go in peace. Show me your works. Without faith. Meaning, yeah, works in itself doesn't get us to heaven, to to uh, eternal life. But it's works and faith together 
that show that we are true believers. Well, anyhow, I don't want to be on here too long. Are you born again? Are you re If you're a believer, you need to be born again. You need to have the Holy Spirit living inside you and guiding you. And let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit will not guide you to try to tear down a, a church that's been around since the late 1950s. All because people think that Kirby Hensley started it for his own purpose of trying to get out from paying taxes. You know, Jesus said for one thing, Render unto Caesar's what is Caesar's, and God's what is God's. Pay your taxes. I'm not tax exempt. Why should I be tax exempt? Because for, if I was tax exempt, for one thing, there's a law that says I can't even talk about political stuff. It's very dangerous to talk about political stuff, period, anymore. Let people know really what you know, what you are and who you voted for. And I mean, they could, no, this world has just gone totally nuts and insane. Even a lot of these, a lot of these believers making these comments. Nuts and insane. And if you're truly a believer, you need to be born again. Ask Jesus Christ into your heart. Ask him to forgive you. Ask the Holy Spirit to come into your life and to guide you. I'll be praying for you. God bless you. Have a blessed day.